Hello folks, this is 2021 May June paper 1 2 and the question number is 32. This is again a question of uh, current electricity as you shown by the diagrams. It says a wedge shaped metal conductor, wedge shaped metal conductor of varying length L, length uh, of length L, varying width. So its width is varying. So here width is this much and here width is this. And we can see that it varies uh, proportionally or let us say uniformly. And uniform thickness so this thing is the thickness cannot be seen here it is this like this this thing is uniform is connected to a cell as shown which graph best shows how the average drift velocity v of the electrons in the conductor varies with distance x distance x from length l so from from here we have to find the variation of of the drift velocity the relation for drift velocity with other quantities is V equal to I by NEA or NQA we can say NQA and UA. So we have constant current here everywhere. N is constant which is free electron density. The universal charge of electron C is constant. So that's why I have V proportional to 1 by A. So that means more the cross section less will be V and less the cross section more will be V. Now here what is happening is we have to uh, we have to go see the dependence of this cross section this cross section uh, with this length this cross section with this length so first what happens is in this cross section we have got to somewhat like this uh, we will see something like this something like this like this like this the face is like this the face there and here the face will be somewhat like the face will be somewhat like this this is thickness will be same thickness which you see here thickness same the breadth varies the breadth varies so what i can see here is here see here is the crossing area a is equal to a is equal to uh, let us say this is the breadth if i say this is the breadth and uh, this is the thickness so it will be equal to thickness into breadth into breadth. So this is the breadth. This is the breadth. Yeah, into breadth. So it's equal to uh, A is proportional to B. That means because the thickness is constant, thickness it says is constant, which means A proportional to B. And we can also say that this B is this B breadth is proportional to L. As you go from here to here, B increases uniformly. So like this, this gives us A proportional to L. So A equal to thickness into breadth, thickness into breadth. A is proportional to breadth, that means thickness is constant, y equal to mx, somewhat like that. And again we can see here the breadth is proportional to this L. As L increases, B increases proportionally like this. So this should give us A proportional to L. Which again means that this V is proportional to 1 by L. Because it's A here, denominator, no L. So as we go here, V should decrease and that decrease will be somewhat to hyperbolic type of degrees so these two cancel out because they say that v increases this says decrease but it says proportionally so it can never be proportional to this x or l so also not and this is correct because this shows a curve which might resemble a hyperbola if we if we do that in a larger context so choice a should be the correct choice